just making about um, about it not they would be able to regulate what you eat. Wouldn't that only be if the government was actually providing health care? Because right now the health care law isn't the government health care, it's the government saying you have to have health care. So isn't that argument only if they were actually providing socialized what would actually be socialized? Uh, yes, that's where it comes from. Now, to some extent, we already, even before Obamacare, we have socialized medicine to a degree. Obamacare expands that and, and paves the way, I believe, for what would ultimately most likely become uh, a, a universal government-sponsored, government-funded health care system. Uh, but but the, the, the constitutional point is simply saying if we can regulate where you go to the doctor and how you pay for it, uh, we, we can also regulate what you eat. Because if you don't follow the government regulations and buy the appropriate kind of health insurance, ultimately there is some possibility, there is some likelihood, it, I would argue there is some inevitability that the government at the end of the day will pay for it. But either way, the, the power to tell you where to go to the doctor and how to pay for it, for the good of your health, logically would extend also to the power to tell you what to eat, how often to eat it, and what not. Let me follow up with that. Is that um, you know, in Judge uh, Hudson's response, he was the Virginia judge that ruled on this. He explicitly said, if inactivity can be re regulated, then what is free from regulation? I think it's really important because what we're talking about is regulating people who don't want to buy insurance, who buy their inactivity. Now, one of the judges who affirmed the president's health care plan uh, said that he was. They were making a decision, and he was regulating mental activity, that they made a mental decision not to buy it, and by that mental decision, they're actually mentally involved in commerce somehow. To me, that may be a bit of a stretch. But you know, the question was asked to Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan when she went through the, 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 uh, tr the, um, the process of becoming a justice. Senator Coburn from Oklahoma asked her, if you can do this, can you regulate what we eat for all three meals? People are worried about that. I mean, and it may sound far-fetched at this point, but already they tell us that they can regulate whether we smoke or not smoke. It's legal to smoke cigarettes, but now it's banned everywhere. The question is they can tell a restaurant now that you can't have cigarette smoking, and if I have a cigar bar, they've stolen from me. They've stolen my property. They're basically, it's a takings by telling me I can no longer decide to do that activity in my restaurant. What if I'm McDonald's and I serve a lot of bad, fatty food, but that's how I make my money? Are we eventually going to let government come in and make those decisions? It is a slippery slope, and that's what a lot of us are worried about, is the slippery slope that occurs.